Hi, welcome to a new recap film. Tom is a skilled designing understudy at Cambridge University who is being pursued by enrollment specialists from a few significant oil organizations, all encouraging him progressively more extravagant compensations and occupation advantages on the off chance that he consents to work for them. Tom excuses the offers, later making sense of for his oil leader father over supper that he doesn't need the existence of vocation and enormous oil would bring him. During this discussion, he gets a mysterious instant message from someone noticing him in the eatery who advises him to meet at a club. He goes to the area he is told and meets a lady named Lorraine, who then acquaints him with Walter, who runs a rescuing organization that had recuperated an enormous fortune known as the Treasure of Guadalupe, yet it was held onto by the Spanish government since Walter's organization was not lawfully rescuing the site. Walter has assembled a group comprising individuals with different ranges of abilities including Lorraine, a scalawag, Simon a planned operations master, Klaus a PC programmer, and James, Walter's long-lasting fortune-hunting accomplice. Walter needs Tom's designing virtuoso to assist them with penetrating the vault that holds the sea's treasure inside the Bank of Spain. Tom consents to help and goes along with them in Madrid during the 2010 World Cup as Spain is battling for the title. Utilizing the group commotion from the many fans accumulated in the city to watch the matches as cover, they scout the bank and discover that the vault sits for a monster scope under an enormous water repository. Assuming the load on the scale varies at all, the vault floods, suffocating any gatecrashers who may be inside. Expecting to track down an answer before the finals, after which the group will scatter, Tom before long establishes that they can overcome the scale by freezing it with 500 liters of nitrogen easing back the mechanics of the scale long sufficient that it wouldn't enlist their presence and trigger a flood while they recover the fortune. They push ahead with their arrangement, with Simon effectively freezing the scale underneath the floor of the vault while Tom, Lorraine, and James hazardously advance inside. Tom's arrangement has worked yet the scale starts defrosting much faster than anticipated, so the triplet hurry to find the thing in the compartments they are searching for an assortment of three coins from Sir Francis Drake that depict where to find his gigantic fortune crowd. As they find the coins, Gustavo, the head of bank security, has recaptured control of his frameworks after they were unwittingly infiltrated by Klaus days sooner. Having learned in the days earlier that the group had proactively penetrated the bank to scout it, he dispatches a strike group to capture the gatecrashers. Accepting they are compromised, Walter advises the triplet to give up to the group. James then, at that point, threatens to use a firearm on Tom, declining to give up, and requests Tom hand over the coins, uncovering that he's working for the British government. The vault secures catching them inside. Nonetheless, James's jumping experience manages the cost of him the capacity to swim to somewhere safe and he leaves the other two. Using up all available time, Tom associates that the way to halting the stream with water into the vault is deceiving the scale by adding more weight and making it think the vault is brimming with water. He educates Simon to stack the vacant nitrogen canisters onto the scale for extra weight, however ending the progression of water isn't sufficient. The group loses contact with Tom and Lorraine, accepting they have suffocated, until if all else fails Simon himself moves onto the scale with a radio telecom the World Cup discourse with the last piece of weight stopping the water stream. The vault begins to drain, and Tom and Lorraine are able to evade the bank security and escape to the square where the fans watch Spain defeat the Netherlands for their first World Cup title. At the British Embassy, James has reported to Margaret, an associate of both his and Walter's, and delivers the coins, only to find out that the coins are fakes and that Walter is still in possession of the originals. As the team relaxes in Saint-Tropez, Walter discusses what their next task will be, which begins two years later as the 2012 Olympics begin in London. Thank you for watching.